Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to discuss how to find torquing values for circuit breakers of several various brands. While talking to several apprentice electricians recently, I found that this was an area of confusion. First, let's see what the 2020 NEC has to say about terminal connection torque. Lightning torque values for terminal connection shall be as indicated on equipment or in installation instructions provided by the manufacturer. An approved means shall be used to achieve the indicated torque value. Now I'll show you some examples of where to find those torque values on specific breakers. This is an Eaton 70 amp breaker and the torque values can be found right where the blue arrow is pointing. Notice that the torque values will vary depending on what size wire you're putting under that breaker terminal. For instance, for 14 to 10 AWG, it's 20 inch pounds. For eight AWG, it's 25 inch pounds. For six to four AWG, it's 27 inch pounds. For three to one aught AWG, it's 45 inch pounds. Now let's go to an Eaton 15 amp single pole. The torque values are to be found right here. And here are the torque values. Here's a square D 15 amp single pole and the torque values will be found right here. For 14 to eight AWG, the torque value is 36 pound inch. Here we have a Siemens 15 amp single pole and you will find the torquing values right here. For 14 to 10 AWG, it is 25 pound inches. Here's a Leviton 20 amp single pole and the torque values for it can be found right here. The torque value for four to eight AWG is 45 inch pounds and 10 to 14 AWG, it's 35 inch pounds. So you notice some of these manufacturers say pound inch, others say inch pounds, it's the same thing. Last but not least, I have a Murray 20 amp GFCI circuit breaker. The torque values are found right here and they are 25 pound inch. Here's my Weha insulated torque screwdriver and I'll be setting it to 25 pound inches for a Murray circuit breaker. Here's my Wera torque screwdriver with the same breaker. I own four torquing tools and I made up a little chart here. Notice in the gold we have the Weha and it will torque 20 pound inch, which you'll need sometimes in a panel. The Wera will not torque 20 pound inch. The Weha is 1000 volt insulated, while the Wera is not insulated. Here's what the Weha currently costs, and here's what the Wera currently costs. I hope this video will help you to find your breaker torquing values. And I hope you liked the little introduction to a couple of the torquing tools. I'll put links in my video description for all my favorite torquing tools. You notice I, I own four of them. For the bigger lugs, you can't use those torquing screwdrivers. They just won't do the job. You need a torque wrench. So thanks. I hope this video was helpful.